This example considers a conditional distribution for discrete random variables. The next example considers a conditional distribution for continuous random variables. Find the probability mass functions associated with the following conditional random variables. This random variable is the random variable x given the random variable y equals 1. And this one is the distribution of y given x is equal to 2. So down below in this table, if you look at these six values on the inside of the table, those are the joint probability mass function values for various values of x and y. x can take on the value 1 and 2. y can take on the value 1, 2, and 3. These six values all add to 1. And the row sums turn out to be the marginal distribution of x and the column sums happen to be the marginal distribution of y. So the first random variable of interest is the random variable x given that y is equal to 1. Well when we know that y is equal to 1 we know that this is where we are. All the rest of this we know this didn't happen so we're confining ourselves just to this little bit here and we know that the conditional distribution is always the joint value 0.2 divided by the marginal value and 0.2 divided by 0.3 is 2 thirds and that's associated with x equals 1 and then the other value is x equals 2 and so the joint value the joint um, value in that case is 0.1 divided by the marginal value which is 0 0.3 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.3 is 1 third associated with x equals 2 so here is the conditional distribution of x given y equals 1. Notice that this is a, a legitimate probability mass function because these two values sum to 1. Now the second random variable of interest for this problem is y given the random variable x is equal to 2. When we know that x is equal to 2 we know that we are in here and so we can ignore the rest of it. So in this particular case, we want to again take the joint value, which is 0.1 divided by 0.4, and 0.1 divided by 0.4 is 1 fourth, and that is associated with y equals 1. And then we take 0.1 divided by 0.4 again, that's 1 fourth, and that's associated with y equals 2. And then finally, we take 0.2 divided by 0.4, 0.2 divided by 0.4 is 1 half and that is associated with y equals 3. So here is the conditional distribution of y given the random variable x assumes the value 2. Notice that these three values sum to 1 as they should and this is a legitimate probability mass function.